like. So um, this is me and this is my first foray into making a video online. Um, I am very nervous about this because I don't even like having my picture taken. I usually don't look good in pictures. Um, I'm not a picture taker, um, let alone posting a video online. Um, so, but I was asked to do some challenges in my life, and so this is part of the reason why I'm doing this. Um, one of the reasons why I was asked to do some challenges was for several reasons. Part of it was for my nursing career, and part of it is because of a company I'm involved in called Rodan and Fields. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just getting my notes. Um, let me tell you about my story with um, both of these, uh, my nursing and Rodan and Fields. Um, I have been a nurse now for 10 years. Um, previously before that, um, I had gotten a degree in biochemistry and psychology. I had worked with a couple companies um, in the Albuquerque area with that. I also unfortunately did not make a lot of money doing that as a bachelor's level scientist. Uh, I had to wait tables the whole time during that because you depend on a lot of research grants and it was difficult to find a job in the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, so I eventually went back to school and became a nurse. And that's how I got involved with nursing and I love it for the most part. Um, every job has its ups and its downs, but medicine, unfortunately, is changing. Um, whether it's good or it's bad, I'm hoping for the most part that these are just the rough spots of medicine changing and that it will eventually turn out to be better. Um, but I was very inspired by um, some things that I learned where, you know, at a nursing conference called NTI, which is um, the Nurse uh, National Training Institute, where it talked about how we need to take better care of ourselves. Because at that point in my life, I was not taking very good care of myself, um, professionally, personally, emotionally. And at that time, I was also becoming very interested in a company that my friend Heather was working for called Rodan and Fields. My friend Heather um, worked, lives in the Dallas area, and I've known her since high school. She was actually closer to another good friend of mine, uh, John Crosser. Um, and we had drifted apart since high school, and I started seeing posts of hers on Facebook about how she was working for this company called Rodan and Fields. Um, and what Rodan and Fields was, was um, a skincare company. And they were based on uh, Dr. Katie Rodan and Kathy Fields, um, the people who had created Proactive, um, which was obviously a huge success. Most people have heard of Proactive around the world. Um, I had actually used Proactive um, in the late 90s, early 2000s, because I've suffered acne my whole life. Um, and I had liked the product. I'd had moderate success with it. Um, and But, you know, I... It wasn't the best product for me. It had helped, but, you know, I had a few issues with the product as well. It just, it was, you know, I thought it was a little expensive. Sometimes I ran out of stuff, you know, more quickly of one versus the cleanser versus the toner versus the other. I think my skin was starting to change as I approached, you know, my mid, mid to late 20s. And so it wasn't always a good fit for me. And so that's why I had stopped using Proactive then. Um, but I saw how enthusiastic she was about the company and how her skin had really started to change. Like, her skin looked amazing. And what I saw in Heather was just her vibrancy about her was changing. And I really wanted that. I really wanted that in my life because I felt a lot of burnout at my job. I felt frustrated um, with life. Um, whereas I felt like I really should be feeling happy with my life. I was engaged. Um, you know, I got a great job. There's so many people out there who don't have jobs, let alone jobs that they love, you know. Um, I see a lot of death in my job at an, as an ICU nurse. I see, also see a lot of misunderstanding and lack of education. And I don't know if that's just because of the locale that I live in. New Mexico is a poor and educated state. And I'm not sure how much of the factors that played into it, but I felt like I was lacking passion in my life. I felt like I was lacking vibrancy and I wasn't 
feeling healthy. I suffered constant headaches. I was seeing a neurologist for this. Um, neurologists kept hydrating me up on medications to the point where the side effects were terrible. I was going to actually have to take Family Medical Leave Act and they were looking into scary, scary diagnoses, which luckily I researched a second opinion from uh, another physician that I knew in Arizona who'd uh, helped uh, treat me because of another uh, condition that is seen in my family and actually got a correct diagnosis and I'm doing much better, luckily, but it was a huge wake-up call, a huge wake-up call. Um, scary wake-up call, but things that I needed to do. So I decided to go into, that's the reason why I joined Grodan and Fields, because um, I said, I need to do something different with my life. I need to do something crazy. Um, anyone who knows me knows that I am not a salesperson at all. In fact, I dislike salespeople, you know. Um, I don't even like it when people come up to me in a bar and is like, hey, baby, I want to hit on you. I'm like, keep keep going, keep going. I'm not interested in some drunk guy talking to me. Um, so getting into sales would probably be like the 180 of something for me. And the fact that Heather had gotten into it because I saw her as a solid Christian, good ethics, good morals person, and I saw how much personally she had benefited from it was a good thing for me. Um, and I was honestly unhappy with my life, unhappy with my skin. And when I started researching the company, I was like, what do they make for someone who has all of these skin problems? Personally, because I was seeing so many things that I was unhappy with. I've personally been unhappy with my skin. And people told me all the time, oh, you have beautiful skin. You don't have acne and stuff. And I was like, well, because I have to treat it all the time. I'm 40 years old and I'm still having acne because related to hormones and it sucks. I don't know how else to say it. My mom used to tell me, oh, this was something to go with time. Well, I found out it doesn't go away with time. Um, and that's just a fact of the matter. Um, so that's how I became involved with Rodan and Fields. And as I've learned with meeting other people in the company, um, in fact, I just talked with someone um, over uh, lunch about this last week, is it's not a selling company. It's more of a sharing company. And even one of the top earners in the company, her name is Sarah Robbins. Um, she is a $5 million a year earner is, is, you know, our job is not to sell. It's not to sell. It's not to push people into these things. It's, it's to offer them information. It's like the waitress who comes and offers you coffee. Some people want coffee, some people don't. It's your job to just offer them. They may want it later. Give them the information. And I agree 100% with that information. That's my job as a nurse. I have patients with difficult diagnoses, whether it be diabetes, heart failure, uh, drug abuse, um, obesity. Sometimes they're not ready for that information. I personally can say for myself, I've been told a thousand times, drinking Coke is bad for you, eating cookies is bad for you. Have I always been ready for that information? No. I'm guilty of it myself. So um, that's my story, how I became involved with Rodan and Fields. But that's, that's my job. My job is to share and I'm happy with what I'm seeing. So um, if you see my posts on Facebook, that's, that's why I'm putting it out there. I'm, I'm sharing it with you. My last job is to sell and force it down your throat. And as a matter of fact, um, I've had a few people, a few very close people over to my house. Um, I had my friend Bonnie, I had my friend Liz, my friend Kara, and Bonnie's mom Candy. Um, who hopefully watch this video and I, I gave them, I asked them to grade me and give me feedback and ask me really, really tough questions about this. And I told them, I said, if I'm going to do this with this direct selling line, I said, you know, it says, you know, in here, if you don't want to have parties, you don't have parties. But if I, if I do, I want to have ground rules. Um, because what do you think when someone says, oh, I'm having a Mary Kay party, I'm having a Pampered Chef, I'm having a passion party. What is the first thing that goes to your mind? You're like, oh, I hate that stuff. Or that stuff isn't good quality. Or that's for old ladies. Or they expect me to buy something. And I want to know that um, for me, I, I absolutely do not, do not underline expect that. My job is just to give you information. You know, and maybe at the very least, I can give you that information. And if you know someone who has problems with their skin, looking for a job, offer that up them for information. Information is free. 
Just like you can give me information. Tell me not to eat that cookie. My trainer, Laura, love you for that, okay? She just tell me, tell you right now, tell Nancy to not pick up that Coke. So that's my story of how I got involved with Rodan and Fields. And Laura will love you for telling me that, trust me. So um, let me tell you about um, how Rodan and Fields came to be. Um, we all know about Proactive. Proactive was an acne product that came on the market around 1994. Um, there were two doctors, Dr. Katie Rodan and Kathy Fields, and they met while they were in a residency at Stanford, Medi uh, Stanford Hospital. Um, they stayed best friends. Uh, they stayed, uh, you know, colleagues. They uh, talked about the problems they saw in their practice. Um, and one of their big complaints, you know, probably when they were hanging out, being best friends, was like, I see these people, they come in, it takes this long for them to get into my practice, which in medicine, I see too. I experience it. How many people don't? You call up to get an appointment at your primary doctor and they're like, oh, you can't come in for three or four months. How frustrating is that? Um, and, you know, they give the patient, so the patient finally comes in after three or four months, after rearranging their schedule, making sure they have time off, making sure they have child care covered if they have a child, making sure that they have that time off from work if they're working that day. Um, give them a prescription for something, whether it be acne, rosacea, or whatever, or even just a simple skin, skin cancer check for their arm. Um, and what happens if it doesn't work? And so they started researching what they could do about that. And that's how they developed this multi-med therapy with Proactive. They discovered that doing things in a certain order, like a cleanser, a toner, a treatment, and then a moisturizer to keep the skin supple and protected from the sun was like the best treatment that they could do. They could offer this as an over-the-counter uh, versus a prescription and offer it to them and tell people to keep it consistent, just like exercise or a good diet and um, that this would work, that this is their medical experience, this is their medical judgment. Um, and they began to shop it around, they began to shop it around, they shopped around to Neutrogena, they shopped around to many different companies. Uh, the companies laughed at them, the companies told them, you're crazy, people don't, people don't do this kind of thing with their skin, they don't have time for it, um, it's too expensive for what you're offering, why should people spend 60 plus dollars at, at that time in the 90s when they can buy a five dollar thing of Clearasil? Um, they said, you're, you're absolutely nuts, um, you know, in fact, one of the companies even remarked, well, you're too beautiful, you two should be on TV. And that kind of got them talking. And one of the doctor's moms actually got them hooked up with Guthy Ranker, who did the infomercials. And I don't know if you guys remember, but um, back in the 90s, um, infomercials was something that, you know, people really didn't admit that they shopped on. And that was something that you did while you were, pardon me, drunk um, after drinking too many beers. And, you know, you got a burrito at the frontier afterwards, you know, after being at, you know, a coach's sports bar or whatever, you know, whatever bar, Banana Joe's back in the 90s that, you know, you were at. <laughs> showing my age, um, and came home, you know, and was like, hey, I need the pocket fisherman or something like that because, you know, you were being stupid. Um, it wasn't something you highly admitted that you shopped in commercials, whereas like now, even last night, my fiance and I were like a thing, we're like, oh, that's kind of cool. We saw that in a commercial. That'd be good on a rain gutter. Um, people really didn't do that. But um, to everyone's surprise, you know, more people had acne out there and were frustrated and were desperate and were willing to try something. It became a huge success, a uh, billion dollar, you know, industry. And as a matter of fact, um, one of the execs who works at Neutrogena said it was her um, biggest mistake, biggest professional mistake was turning them down because the now Proactive made more than the entire company of Neutrogena alone. And she actually now works for them, for the doctors. And, you know, because she realized, you know, now, like, what did I do? I, I could have made billions of dollars for my company. And she actually now works for them as well as one of the, one of the bigger salespeople for um, Rodan Fields has told a story if you look on YouTube for it. Um, so that's how they got started. And, you know, as they, you know, could have rested on their laurels, um, if I was the owner of a billion dollar company, I would uh, probably not be living in Albuquerque. I'd be living in Maui with my cats and my pug and uh, be surfing every day, drinking smoothies with my trainer, Laura. I promised her I'd give her a job at $100,000 a year um, and hanging out. But 
what did they do? They said, we're not done yet. We professionally were not satisfied. They still teach at Stanford and uh, University of California, San Francisco. They still see practice. They still keep their practice open. They have a two year waiting list, which shows how impressive their practice is. Um, and um, they said, we want to do more. And so they started to address other areas of skincare. Um, some of the other areas that they saw had a need was um, they continue to do their work with acne because acne, you know, things have changed since the 90s. Um, so they've done a new acne line. Um, they've done one with people with sensitive skin, rosacea, redness, psoriasis. Um, they've gone into people with sun damage um, and brown spots. And they've also done fine lines and crow's feet and wrinkles if those are kind of your issues because they realize that people are very concerned about their appearance. You're, as someone has once said, your face is your fortune. And it's a billion dollar industry. I mean, look at how many people now have Botox, plastic surgery, um, and even just the culture has changed since the 90s. Everything is 24-7. People have their phones. People take pictures. Even how uh, children are nowadays, they're a lot more aware of their appearances. And it's uh, true. Your face is your fortune. And so um, they're trying to take part of that. And so they launched Rodan and Fields in 2007. But what happened um, in 2007? As many people will know, the real estate market crashed and the economy changed. And even though they were doing good, they were in Nordstrom's, which is one of my favorite department stores because having grown up in Washington where Nordstrom started, um, you know, they did okay, you know, but they kind of looked and said, you know, what is Nordstrom's doing for us? They started, you know, asking people, what made you buy Rodan Fields? What made you come into Nordstrom's today? And uh, people said, oh, I heard about it from so-and-so, you know, or I saw my friend on Facebook and she looks great. She's been using the products. And they said, you know, Nordstrom's really not doing that much for me. And, you know, and the economy is really bad. And you know what, we think we're gonna take it out of Nordstrom's, which is just shocking. Most people, if you make it to the level of selling in Nordstrom's, you've made it professionally. And so they made a radical business change, took the product out of Nordstrom's, which is huge, and went into the direct selling market with their goal of trying to empower women and men. Um, they realized that, you know, um, doing, you know, beauty care is mostly a women's industry, but they are open to men too, is, and try to, what they said, they want to make more millionaires than any other direct selling company. So they changed their business model and that's how they got involved in direct selling. Now they make more in direct selling in one month than they made an entire year in Nordstrom's. And so that's part of the reason why they got involved in the direct selling. Um, they've won numerous awards for the direct selling. They've won the Stevie Award, um, which is something that um, Apple has won for the iPhone and other things. Um, so they've done great things. Um, but the biggest thing that I'm impressed with is they do clinical studies. Um, they have always a nurse educator on call. They have many physicians who work for them. They have many physicians who sell the product and who are impressed with the product as well. Um, the other thing is, too, is they don't have celebrity endorsements. They don't advertise in magazines. They don't do paid advertisements. Um, most of the time, they do before and afters, like how I saw with my friend Heather, is I know Heather. Heather is a real person. I did have someone call me out the other day when I put a picture on Facebook. They're like, hey, that person has makeup in their final picture. Of course they look great. And I agree with that. That's true. You know, when she was all dolled up in the pageant gear, it was a picture of Mrs. Amer Mrs. Hawaii. You know, it's like, well, of course she's going to look great in her makeup and so forth. So I I'm actually glad that they called me out on this. But that's why I'm doing this video right now. And all I have on, and I want people to look, is um, just a little bit of powder to just, you know, for sunscreen. So I want people to see my real face. Um, I rarely wear any foundation anymore. And the products I use is the uh, unblemished because I have adult acne, especially like around my chin area. And I know this video isn't the greatest quality because I've never done a video, um, lights, everything else, I'm doing a webcam. I was like, never had to worry about this before. Um, but I do have some, some damage 
up here, which I'm working on with the reverse. And that's because I run a lot and I didn't always wear a hat. I wear a hat now. My fiance is always like, you're so pale, you need to wear a hat. And I do get some adult acne, especially down here. Especially now that I'm 40 and with the migraines and everything else, I have to um, watch what I can take hormonally. I used to take birth control pills to help control some of my hormonal issues. Can't always do that after the age of 40. So, um, hello hormones, they're, they're back. Um, so that's where we're at with that. Sorry, that probably too much information for some of you, but um, hormones don't go away. Mom wasn't honest with me. Um, so let me talk about some of the products that um, Rodan and Fields have. Um, what I use, lean back, is my first product here is Unblemish. Um, Unblemish and is for um, acne and post-acne marks. And just like how Rodan and Fields does, just like what they did with Proactive, everything is usually three to four steps. They have a wash, they have a toner, here they have a treatment, this is a benzoyl um, peroxide treatment, and then here they have a sunscreen, and this particular sunscreen is an oil control lotion, so if you get concerned with like a lot of shine, um, I know like um, teenage girls, young 20s, you know, you get a little oily, you get a little shine very good for that. Um, let me talk a little bit more about this. This is benzoyl peroxide. Um, a lot of dermatologists and so forth recommend this. The reason why is one of the treatments for acne is um, if your acne is uncontrolled is sometimes they even actually put you on antibiotics and it's to control that um, acne bulgaris uh, bacteria. Well you know being a critical care nurse they're always worried about antibiotic resistance, antibiotic resistance, antibiotic resistance. Um, this benzoyl peroxide does control anti antibiotic resistance and it's topical. That's why everyone, every doctor loves giving benzoyl peroxide in the lowest concentration ever because it's topical, you're not putting it in your body, creating that antibiotic resistance. And I, you know, I did reading about that because I was like, why are they so big, you know, on benzoyl peroxide? Because it didn't always work for me. And, you know, people always ask me why the two pumps. Well, because it doesn't always sit well together when you mix the two together. So it's a benzoyl peroxide and, you know, it's, it's how it's formulated. So you apply it, rub it together, put it on your face. I do have a note though. If you think like less, less is more. Don't do like... <laughs> One from each side is enough, otherwise it'll really dry out your face. Um, this is something new that you know that they didn't have in the 90s. Is they're finding out sulfur is very good for clearing up acne, and so this is something that they did not have with proactive. Because a lot of people will ask why proact why unblemish versus proactive. Um, these products contain sulfur, and sulfur is very good with clearing up acne. And then also let's talk about the toner. Two types of toner for unblemish. Spot fading, if you have any kind of acne marks, acne scars, um, this has something to help fade them. If you have active cystic pustule acne, they recommend the clarifying toner. So I use that, I use that at night. Number two that I use, I use this in the morning just because it has like super strength sunscreen because again, I'm very pale, is the reverse. And that's because I do have some unevenness and I do have sun damage right here. You can tell where I've been a runner for many years and I usually just pull my hair up in a ponytail and you can see right there. So this is what I'm using for this. Um, it has the scrub, again, it has the toner and this toner does have a brightening agent in it and then it has um, a vitamin C and a retinol and the retinol does um, do skin turnover the vitamin C is an antioxidant to help brighten and lighten the skin and people ask well why, why don't they mix these two together um, these are like a two-year-old and a five-year-old sometimes they need time out they play well together but they need to live in separate rooms okay it's my friend Kara. She has a four-year-old and a seven-year-old. They probably kill each other if they had if they didn't have separate rooms. But they sometimes they play well together. Um, the best example I know how to use. And then um, sunscreen afterwards. I think I left the sunscreen in my bathroom. I'm not gonna go get it. Other products that they have, which I don't um, 
currently use too much of is Soothe. Soothe is for redness, rosacea, sensitivity. Um, I've seen people who use it for different things because I'm always researching. I've seen people who actually use it on um, wound care things. Um, some people have used it on their ostomy site, bug bites, um, extreme dryness. Um, I have a little bit of dry skin on my chin. I do sometimes use that for it. Um, so gentle face cream and then they have um, a skin treatment and then this is a moisture replenishing cream and then of course sunscreen because everyone needs sunscreen especially here in New Mexico um, I think the biggest thing I hear about um, people when I mention the suit to them is fear because most people who've had problems with sensitive skin are really afraid to try anything and I can understand that if everything burns and hurts and everything else but it's a really great product number four is kind of like the Cadillac or the Ferrari or whatever you'd like to call it of our um, line is Redefine and Redefine works as um, kind of like fine line wrinkles and it's kind of like the goal point of where everyone wants to get to and this is what is kind of like where everyone usually is like once your skin is improved to the point where you like people kind of settle into the redefined so they have a wash and it actually sits on like a mask for two minutes and kind of cleans everything out they have a toner which is a pore minimizing toner if you're worried about pores and then they have either your day cream or your night cream triple defense or overnight they also have other products you can use, like um, this gets off your makeup, other things. They have tools, which are great. Part of the reason why I bought my kit was the tools. Uh, this is a handheld microdermabrasion advice, which will, you know, I use once a week to get dead skin cells off. Grossed my friend out when she saw dead skin cells there, but... You know, I'd rather have them off. And then this is the Amp MD roller. The Amp MD roller, what it does is it creates tiny traumas in your skin. So that way things can penetrate deeper. When you have tiny little traumas in your skin, your skin repairs itself. And that can help with the appearance of fine lines, scars, um, even like puffiness lines and wrinkles and so forth. So it allows like eye creams, um, retinol, you know, retinols and stuff to absorb deeper. I did have someone ask if you could use this um, in a certain private place. You're never using this for me. Okay, buy your own. True story. You know who you are. Just a fun side note. So some people have asked, um, how do you get involved with uh, Rodan and Fields? Um, several ways. You can always buy things retail. Um, retail, you know, you pay the full price. Um, you pay shipping. That's how you do it, because uh, it's direct sales. Just like you would buy in a brick and mortar store. There's a preferred customer. Preferred customers are kind of like a Costco, Sam's Club thing where um, most people you pay $20 um, for like a club card and how it works is after that you get 10% uh, off and free shipping. Um, you still pay tax and handling and you know you get up to I believe five um, free shippings per year as long as the order is $80 or more. Um, then there's a consultant, which is like what I am, but there's several levels of consultants. Uh, consultants can either sell or not sell. Um, if they sell, um, what they do is they have a website, um, they get the product, they can use the product, um, and they can make a profit on it. Or if they don't want to do that, they um, actually can um, decide to have the website or not. They still get the consultant a discount, which is 25% off, and the products they use are, they can't actually use it for um, a tax deduction because it is a business. 
So there's many different ways to be involved with the company. Um, some people are saying, hey, you know, I, that's great. I want the discount. You know, I want to look my skin to look great, but I don't have time to sell. Or some people say, you know what, this company is really growing. I want to be involved. I want to do that. Or some people say, you know what, uh, I just want to try the products. Uh, let me do this. So um, if you're interested, you know, let me know. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, some people have asked me, do we give full size samples of the products? We don't give samples of the products. What I can do is give you a sample of um, some uh, face serum, the lip serum, and um, microdermabrasion paste. And it's kind of what they call like a mini facial. Um, just because the reason why Rodanum Field says is it takes time for the products to work. You're not really going to get something from overnight. So if you have any questions, just give me a call um, or you can message me on Facebook. Um, I'm glad to hopefully let you know what's going on in my life and why I've chosen to do this. I thank you for your support um, and have a good day.